Hello, I am Bill, and I'm going to show you how to set the NVIDIA visual thing um, to be in 3D mode. This is for people using Vizard, the VR system. We are here at the Social, uh, Social Attention Virtual Laboratory at UC Davis, and this may be a troubleshooting issue for us. I doubt it's, well, maybe it's a troubleshooting issue for you too. So here's what we do. We go to our mouse, we click right, so see, so I go to the background here, I click right, I go to NVIDIA control panel, I then I click that, I click left, and then we see a variety of options here, you know, rotate display, change resolution, but what we want is change, manage 3D settings, so I've got my mouse here, this is what it looks like now, and then boom, see I just pressed it, I press change 3D settings, and this is what we have. So what we do is we simply go down, so we notice we have a scroll bar here, and we've got a little one, whoops, we've got a little one here, okay, so, um, and then just FYI, we've got another one here, and we simply look, we go down, and we look for stereo enable, and there it is, stereo enable, and you'll see that it's off. But we want to turn stereo on. If you go to this and you see it says stereo enable on, well, that means st obviously stereo is enabled. So there's nothing we can do to fix our problem if we are having that problem with uh, the 3D uh, head mounted display not working. But if you do see off, then that's a good sign that you can just click it. So see, I clicked left, and I've got off here. And look, I've got a little selector. So I can select on. And there we go. And look, lo and behold, it now says stereo enable on. Okay, so now we go down here and hit the apply button. Clink. And um, we hit apply, and sure enough, stereo enable is still on. We, sh we close out the NVIDIA display, and then we do our usual deal of clicking on the lab tool. Okay, and then you know, obviously, you usually don't need to mess with the NVIDIA. Um, look there, it says communication in progress. So now I'm going into a little tutorial on Lab Tool, just in case it's useful. Um, now it says idle in green. We click miscellaneous. We click 2D. Um, and then we notice uh, USB timeout 3000, external timeout 3 or 3 30,000. Okay, then we X, X that guy out. Also notice that um, you see there the light is green. That means we're in 3D mode. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to click 2D now. Click the 2D. You know, in other words, force 3D mode, right? Click to now 3D and look, that light is now yellow. Well, we don't want yellow because yellow means it's in 2D mode. We want it to be in 3D mode. So we press 2D, right, force 3D, 3D, and there. So we're in good shape now. So now we X out of the Imagine Lab tool, and we're doing Fade Study 3 now. So we double-click on that. It starts up, and we hope that we get there good. So we got that. That's what we want, the fuzzy left-right thing, meaning that we are indeed in 3D mode. So you are off to the races and ready to f do the study. Um, Okay. Have a good day. Hope it works for you.